Hello, Nonpla fans. Today it's Speedball Haro, and today I'm here today to review, well, a very interesting scale kit that I've had for a while, and I've been just and I decided to pull it on a nice weekend like we've had. And today, of course, is on the num from the uh, brand Creative Fields number fifty-seven uh, armor puppet line industry type three model kit. And I have to say, guys, this is a very interesting line of models I have come across and, well, looked into. And the reason why I say that is because, well, these kits are not just simple kits. These actually have inner frames to them. And and to show you, right here in front of me is not even the completed kit. This is the inner frame section of the kit. As you can see. And this is impressive how they did this. I mean, it's literally that small. And I'll even show you scale comparisons in a few on this because this still impresses me. In fact, here. These are the runners I used to build just this little guy. And that is, it took two, six separate runners to build this inner frame. This little guy right here. And it's impressive how well articulated it is, in fact. Because that's what always surprises me with smaller kits. Usually they're limited in many ways compared to bigger kits. But this little guy, he's impressive. I mean, here, look. I'll show you all of its articulation points. He's got full leg, arm, everything. In fact, here. See? Full arm rotation. Can go all the way up, down, and wrist articulation too see go all the way around the way elbow bend now you're probably thinking no he doesn't have any other no no he does he can turn his all his arm all the way around without even using the ball joint and that's of course on both and he even has an ab crunch i mean that's very impressive for a small little guy I mean, this is like om almost RG quality right now. And I mean the like the really good ones. He even has armor skirt right here. This little piece that you can move, of course. Bend his leg up. Well, sadly, he can only bend so far with this armor. But he does, have, of course, have leg bend and ankle bend. He's got two forms of articulations just in the legs. And, of course, the feet can bend too. And yes, he can rotate his legs all the way around. That's impressive. And we're not done. He can, of course, go completely 360 around the waist. And that's not all. Of course, obviously, he's got good head articulation because he can do it 360 as well. But he also has, no joke, neck. He's got a neck bend. You don't even, I mean, that's pretty cool. Up and down everything. This little guy has this much articulation. And he's small. And I mean, just literally, in fact, here, as I just mentioned. Oh, and before I forget, each one of these little kits comes with their own action bases. These little stands, you see. And they're all connectable to each other. And even convertible. I've seen that in the manual. You can literally swap this around to make different variations. So that's what's really cool. And as I was just mentioning, let me show you some size comparisons real quick. There you go. Here he is with a Haro Pla. As you can see, literally, this is a Haro Pla. Here he is with a high grade Leo, standard 144 scale. And. Lastly, here he is with a 1100 scale master grade double Zeta evolved version that I have. And as you can see, he, yeah, I can't even get the whole thing in the shot, but here, see, master grade, and there he is right there. So, yeah, this little guy has all just, wow. He's that small, but he's got great articulation capabilities. And the 
fun part is that I haven't had any problems with this little... And this is just the inner frame. I mean, there's still a lot more for this little guy because, as you can see, both on the box are in the back. And... No, oh, before I forget, yeah, this part you see here, it specifically comes with this guy, and um, it doesn't actually connect to anything. It's just, it's just meant to sit there, just so you know. And, of course, as you can see right here in the manual, he's got, this is going to be what he looks like completed with all of his armor. See, take a quick look. In his ver in this one's case, he's got a claw gimmick. And that's one fact that you should know about this brand's, uh, well, armor puppets. Each puppet is different, but unique because each one has a, well, by the name, armor gimmick. And why I say that is because uh, most of the, well, more of the newer ones now have the ability to swap armor parts that comes with the kit to make different variations of what the kit is. In this one's case, though, since this was their first one, it didn't really have that gimmick yet. But it does, however, still have an armor gimmick. Where in this one's case, instead of uh, swappable parts to make different versions, it comes with a complete clear armor. So what this guy looks like right now is going to be that, but all in clear parts. And in fact, a couple of the other armor puppet guys do the same thing. So yeah, that is going to be really cool. In fact, from what I've least learned from building this and seeing from the other kits they have, you almost need a couple separate ones of these little guys to make enough. I mean, just, yeah, I mean, i just amazed how well this little guy is and all the cool, fun stuff you can build with him. So, of course, I'm, and of course, in a second, you will see his full armor up. And, and of course, I will be doing future ones of these soon. But quickly, let's take a quick look at the box so you guys can check it out. As you can see, you got... All the forms of his inner core, the industry version, art, and everything that comes in the kit, which I must mention now, will have extra components. I will tell you that right now, you're going to have leftover parts. And not just the clear parts either. I've already discovered that for the stand parts, you're going to have a complete second runner of just extra parts. Literally, just for, you know, leftover next build next one however so yeah and um yeah well oh before i forget because i tend to do that one other cool fact is that he doesn't just come with the for the core version he doesn't just come with these standard hands you see on him right now in fact this part is really impressive to me because he comes with multiple hands but they're not even on runners. They're actually in this. In this protective casing with all five with all five sets. Literally, you get ten hands, two per set, and just really cool. I mean you get of course the standard open hand, trigger hand, fist hands, but then you get other hands. You get these semi-open hands, and you get these pointing finger hands. I'm not sure what for, but hey, I'm okay with that. And of course, this is resealable, so that way, if you want, you can just take a set off, put them on, and put the others back in here for, you know, whenever you want it. So yeah, I'm pretty glad so far with this kit, and hopefully, and with the line, too. So yeah, okay, uh, give me a few seconds, and I will get him all dressed up. And there you have it. This is, of course, its full armor. Well, the solid armor, I should say. And if you're wondering, no, the articulation hasn't been decreased in any way, if you're wondering that. all the Most of the articulation is the same. The only thing that has changed now with this armor, of course, is the, well, if you can see the box art, are its arms. As you can see right there. There you go. Not, they are the biggest change to this guy now that he has, well, he's fully dressed. <laughs> see? As you can see. And, of course, the main gimmick now is that he can now extend his arms much longer, which is really cool, actually. Hopefully my 
focus doesn't lose it. Hold on. There you go. And of course, it's fully articulated, as you can see. You can now stretch his arm all the way up here. And you can, of course, fold it back in and bend his arm up to there and down there. And of course, he can do a full 360 turn on his arm. And he does have an, a hand now as well, or well, claw, I should say, on a ball joint and posable claw parts. As you can see. So yeah, and other than that, the legs are still the same. The only difference is, well, now he's got thicker legs. Same, same with the feet. And his head is just a new head. But he can, of course, still turn it all the way around, and he does have the neck joint as before. Now, the other, other difference is, oh, before I forget, and the waist is still the same. Now, of course, the other main difference is that you can, his back now has these attached to it. As, I guess you would call them verniers in this case. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much the big gimmick to this industry armor. Now, of course, are there any other flaws or anything with it? Uh, not really, no. Though, I have to mention this because I noticed this with my with his additional arm, which I'm going to get to in a second, is that on the, on the, well, extended arm section, like right there, you can probably see it now. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there was some cracking done when I was panelining it with this setup. And it hasn't damaged, as in broke off or anything. It could still move everything. I didn't have to use any glue or anything, so it's fine there. But, as I'm about to show you, the other gimmick that this kit, particular, this specific kit has, that a large, a good number of the number 57 kits all, well, not all, but come with, is they also come with an additional armor. Uh, let's see if I can move it down. And sometimes it'll either be in different colors, uh, different design, etc. And in this one's case, it is a clear armor. Yeah, yeah, I know it's hard to see that. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get that as focused as I can. Damn, this is hard. Okay, there we go. This is, of course, the head to that one. It's an exact copy. It, that's pretty much the big gimmick is that all the yellow parts are have clear part versions, which is nice, definitely, if you... You know, if you like clear armors and such. In fact, here, to make it a little easier, because there's a lot of parts here. I'm going to just try to show so many of them off. There you go. These are pretty much most of the body armor and such like that. So let me put these down for a second so I don't drop them. <laughs> and, of course, here are the biggest gimmick is the claws. Same exact articulation, no difference. The back section for the verniers. Now there was something, now I did notice something though with this, with the clear part specifically that I didn't have as much trouble with uh, on the solid armor. And that is as I showed you a second ago with that, um, well, like in the joint sections here, it might be hard to see it unfortunately due that it's clear and such. Is that when I was building this sections, uh, a lot of the joint sections for the pegs here, for, the, for here, uh, for some reason they started cracking a little. I don't know if you can see it, unfortunately. It's hard to tell. I'm going to try to get it as best I can. But yeah, like over here, here a little. Uh, let's see. Uh, I believe there might have been on the claw a little. And the point is, it's uh, it didn't break off or anything. I didn't have to use anything like glue yet or anything. But I did notice with the cracking uh, that the arm has become, a, well, specifically, sorry for that, this, the clear arm, is that it's a little looser than the standard solid armor. So, yeah, I've noticed that. And I'm trying to think. Yeah, this one, too. So, yeah. So, I mean, this could just be my copy, though. I don't know if this will affect other ones. You know, it just could have been my luck. But, yeah, other than that, um, yeah, that's pretty much the only flaw I've noticed with the kit, or at least 
part of the kit because like i said this for the solid armor i didn't have really that much problems with that as i just showed you uh so yeah now of course next question would be is what about leftovers parts and such well as i showed you if you use the solid armor you will of course have an entire section of clear parts left over you know just to do whatever and let's see you will also have extra parts of, of course, the inner frame that you have to remove to build the armor onto him. There's that. And lastly, you will have uh, additional parts and connectors for, well, not the kit itself, but the stand that you see here in the background. That's pretty much, I believe, all the number 57 kits come with. Though I'm not so certain about the new Manhunter line that we're getting. Uh, but yeah, but these ones come with this stand. It's really cool. And the big gimmick to them is that they're, well, they're all connectable. Literally, that's why you have so many extra parts. They're complete. You can connect them all together and such. That's so cool about that fact. And I believe each of them come with a little different uh, extra like this, as I showed you earlier. So yeah. So that's, and of course, if you're wondering, though, what are you going to do with all that extra armors I just mentioned? Luckily, if you are interested in building the clear armor, uh, number 57 has released an additional, uh, well, <laughs> well, actually two, actually, if I recall correctly. Yeah, two uh, inner frame kits, where it's just literally the inner frame plus an extra stand. So in other words, if you want to build the both armors and such that as i mentioned most of the kits uh, this line comes with uh you just got to pick up a couple of those extra inner armor frames and you can literally build both armor variations of course depending on the unit so yeah that's pretty much it there and of course if you're wondering about size wise well let's put him down here for a second let's see as i showed you before with my other size comparisons here's a few more now that he has his armor on with Let's start with my petite guy, if he'll stay still. <laughs> so yeah, he's about the same size as a petite guy, if you were wondering. Maybe a few inches difference. So yeah, there's that. Here's he with a 144 entry grade strike, which I'm sure you've all seen recently with a lot of my videos. And lastly, just because... As I showed you before, with my other master grade I showed, here's uh, my F90 uh, master grade. Which, sorry, he, he's not fully in. It's just literally trying to get everything in. So let me just adjust this for a second. Okay, there we go. So yeah, he's uh, that small. So lastly, I'll just say this. Do I recommend this kit? Yes, I can say that because... If you're someone that loves uh, little kits, diorama pieces, things like that, that you need small units for and such, um, that would be really cool. I could recommend this little guy specifically, the industry type in this case. And I said it because he would look really good with like uh, ooh, a debris battlefield where he's carrying debris parts. Or if he's in a uh, colony pick a display where he's helping repair a colony or helping build a Gundam unit, you know, stuff like that. I think this would be a perfect little guy for that. And Plus, there are a few other uh, uh, mechanical units that this line has done now, I believe. So, yeah, that's why I would totally recommend them for that. And I'm going to be checking out the other kits soon. So, yeah, I, I really do like this line so far. And they've been growing quickly. I mean, they've already announced, I believe, two to three more kits already. So... Yeah, this line's grown, so you'll be seeing them. I can promise you that here. So that's it for today. I, of course, thank you guys for coming. Hope you're enjoying your hobbies. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, that's about it. Have a good day.